Hello and happy new month. Welcome to the month of March. Hey, listen to me. Be excited. Praise God. Don't, don't look at what's going on around you right now. Now, we had, we've just stepped into a new month. And don't let the wrongs in the days ending the last month affect how you begin to look at this new month. You know why? Because God has great plans for you. Now, especially, I speak to those of you in Nigeria. Hey, relax. Relax. You see, people rush to do things because they don't understand God. If you understand God, you will learn to rest. The Bible says we have need of patience after we have done the will of God that we may inherit his promise. Hey, it's a new month already. Get excited and truly get excited. So why should I get excited? Don't you see what's going on? Hey, that's why I'm telling you, get excited. Because by the time I'm done sharing with you what the Lord has given to me to share with you, you will really see, not just see, but you will get excited. <laughs> Praise God. But before we go into all that, can we call for that daily bread? It's a new month. And I'll encourage you, if you've not joined the prayer meeting that's going on at every watch, do so right away. After you watch this broadcast, just log on to your Zoom and get into that prayer room and join us at the next prayer meeting. Praise God. Can we make requests for our daily prayer? It's a new month. So release your faith. Say, Father, I demand right now for my daily bread. Lord, this month I'm going to enjoy abundance from you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Now, while I was praying concerning the month, there were some words the Lord gave me to share with you. Now, the first one is Philippians chapter 4 and verse 6. Philippians chapter 4 and verse 6. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Now, in King James, it says, be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. Now, the New King James Version, which you will understand better, it says, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. And guess what it says next? And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your heart and mind through Christ Jesus. Now, when God says, don't be anxious, that's what he really means. Don't be anxious. And then he tells you what to do. Instead of being anxious. Now, I know there's a lot and lots of anxiety in our nation right now. Everybody just wondering, which way? Praise God. Hey, relax. I told you God gave me a word for you. Praise God. So, relax. Oh, you don't know God. You don't know him. I pray today you will get to know him more than you did before, praise God. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. So he says, be anxious for nothing, nothing, nothing. If you find yourself getting anxious over anything, he says, pause, pause. Father, he says, do what? Prayer, supplication, with thanksgiving. Say, Father, I know you've got this call. Just like I know he's got our nation covered. You know, after the election, the Lord commanded me to be silent. And see, when he says be silent, what he said, he says be still and know that God is God. Be silent. Relax. There are people that are going to make noise 
but you're not the one that have been called to make the noise. The, those who have been called to make the noise, they will take up their ministry at this time. God knows them. He has a portion to every man their parts. And you will see. So the, when God says, keep quiet, now, don't express your anger. Now, those of you that follow, follow me carefully, in February, I was speaking, early, when we entered the month of February, I was speaking to you about what the Lord said about being sober. Being sober. The Lord who understood what was coming had to teach us about soberness. And being sober simply means making sure you're not acting, taking decisions under the influence of any emotion or any, when emotion means anger, any of those things. Make sure you are not taking decisions based on your emotions, based on poverty or lack, or based on abundance. Always be sober. And the Lord said to, to us in, in the beginning of this month, say, look, soberness will be your key word throughout the month of February. Now, now going forward, actually, that's what the Lord said. So when you see times like this, now there are a lot of things you want to say. There are a lot of things you want to do, but the Lord has said, shh, hush, 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 praise God. Be sober, calm down, relax. Is he not God? Can you fight for him? Can you fight bigger? Can you, can, can you fight greater than him? If the one who created all things say, keep quiet, why don't you just rest on his word and relax? He's not telling you keep quiet because we are weak in our kingdom. <laughs> no, he's telling you keep quiet because he has commanded those to speak, to speak on your behalf. He has commanded those that need to do anything to do them for you. Brothers and sisters, we are a kingdom of priests. We have a royal priesthood. So we are priests unto God, yes. But our priesthood is royal. Those that belong to royalty don't make too much noise. They have servants that fight for them. And if you understand God so much, you will know that at this time, at this time, is a time we don't need to fight for ourselves. He will, he will rise. Now, not just that he will rise. He has already commanded these things. Oh, let me read something to you. Psalms chapter. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You are worthy. You are worthy. I'll read to you Psalm 94, beginning from verse 1. Hallelujah. Follow me, follow me, follow me. You need to take your Bibles right now to look. Don't just listen to me right now. Look into your Bible. Psalm 94 from verse 1. O Lord God, to whom vengeance belongs. And when, when, when you see a verse or a, a book opens up like this, then you should get ready. Sit up. Sit up. No, sit up. Yeah, sit up. Because you need to read this yourself. O Lord God, to whom vengeance belong. O God, to whom vengeance belong, shine forth. Hallelujah. Rise up, O judge of the earth. Render punishment to the proud. Lord, how long will the wicked, how long will the wicked triumph? Is that not the questions we are asking in our nation right now? Praise God. Holy Kuma Shikatea. It says they utter speech. They speak insolent things. All the workers of iniquity boast in themselves. They break in pieces your people, O oh Lord. I was talking to someone a few days ago. I said, the, the challenge is the, the young ones whose hearts are being crushed. For example, a lot of young people came out to vote this time. And they, they, they are looking at how everything is going and they are wondering, was there any use for me coming out to vote? 
Let's start. Let's continue. Verse 4. They utter speech and speak insolent things. All the workers of iniquity boast in themselves. They break in pieces your people, O Lord, and afflict your heritage. They slay the widow and the stranger and murder the fatherless. Now, these are people who God himself watches over. Yet they say, the Lord does not see. That's what they are thinking. The Lord does not see. Nor does the God of Jacob understand. Okay. Understand. You senseless among the people. And you fools. When will you be wise? David is asking. <laughs> you're saying God does not understand. He's saying, ah, you're so foolish. When will you be wise? <laughs> mm. Verse 9. He who planted the ear. Shall he not hear? How will you sit down here and say, does God hear what we're doing? The one who planted the ear. <laughs> he who formed the eye, shall he not see? Ah, now look at verse 10. He who instructs the nations, shall he not correct? Ah, the one who instructs the nations. <laughs> so there is one who instructs the nations. His name is Jehovah. He said he used to correct it. <laughs> when things go and cut out of his head, he comes and he corrects. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. He who teaches men knowledge. The Lord knows the thought of man that they are futile. Blessed is the man whom you instruct, O Lord. Like I'm told you, God has instructed me. Keep quiet. Thank you, Jesus. And teach out of your law that you may give him rest from the day, from the days of adversity. God is going to give his children rest. I know some people are saying, oh, there's going to be trouble, there's going to be this. Hey, look out for rest from the Lord. It's not everything you should be involved with. It's not everything. Hear me, hear me. Understand who you are and understand that you have Can you just relax as a child of God? Now I'm speaking to God's children. If you're not a child of God, then you're on your own. But I'm speaking to God's children right now. Relax. Watch this. Mm. They that give him rest from the... That you may give him rest. That's verse 13. That you may give him rest from the days of adversity until the pit is dug for the wicked. Did you notice that? God will give you rest from the days of adversity. So there will be days of adversity, right? Now it says, but in those days of adversities, God will give you rest. Now while he's giving you rest, he said he will give you rest until the pit is dug for the wicked. Who's digging the pit? Not you. While the pit is being dug for the wicked, you are resting. That's what he said. He will give you rest. Thank you, Jesus. For the Lord will not cast off his people, nor will he forsake his inheritance, but judgment will return to righteousness. Did you see that? Listen, listen. Judgment will return to righteousness. Meaning the judge will sit. And he will give judgment. And the one who is righteous will get it. And all the upright in heart will follow it. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Unless the Lord has been my help, my soul would have settled in silence. Did you see that? But we have the Lord as our help. Hallelujah. If I say my foot sleep, your mercy, O Lord, will hold me up. In the multitude of my anxieties within me, your comfort delights my soul. Shall the throne of iniquity, which devises evil by law, have fellowship with you? This is deep. 
I go menu so king again the better he can. Take note, verse 20. Shall the throne of iniquity, which devises evil by law. See, it's, it's one thing for someone to do you wrong. It's another thing for someone to use the law. Ah, in the to devise evil against you. Now, you are walking in your innocence, but one has done you evil, and he's pointing to the law, telling you he has a right to do what he did. <laughs> now, he's asking, will that one, you see, because that one, he's talking about the throne now, will God accept, because God has fellowship with every throne. Uh, well, the Lord will help you understand this. So that he's asking, shall the throne of iniquity which devises evil by law have fellowship with you? With who? With God. He's asking, will that one now say he's having fellowship with God? In other words, will God accept that kind of fellowship? They gather together against the life of the righteous and condemn, and condemn innocent blood. But the Lord has been my defense. And my God, the rock of my refuge. Watch this now. Verse 23. He has brought on them their own iniquity and shall cut them off in their own wickedness. The Lord our God shall cut them off. That's the end of the story. How is this thing going to end? He just told it here. Oh, Pastor, that's what's going to happen. You look at it there. You want me to read it to you again? The Lord our God shall cut them off. So when the Lord says, be anxious for nothing, understand what he's saying. Relax. Relax. Go lie down on your sofa. This one is not bed lying down. Lie down on your sofa. Cross your legs. Get something to drink. This is not even the time to fast and pray. I'm telling you the truth. This is the time to stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. We have prayed. We have fasted. We have trusted in the Lord. We have called upon his name. The one upon whom we call, doesn't he answer? If, if we start running elter skelter now, oh, let's gather, let's pray. And, come on. The one we have prayed to, did he not hear us? The one we have called upon, did he not answer? Relax. 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 That's what the Spirit of God is saying to you. Relax. He will cut them off. Anyone that has not been assigned in this season, watch how the Lord will begin to cut them off one after the other. We've done our election. That's what we know to do. But I hope you know, God doesn't wait for elections. And God always comes last. I hope you know that about him. When you finish doing everything you know to do, and you're tired, now that's when God shows up. That's been his principle. Well, Jesus and his disciples, they, they finished preaching, and, and Jesus said, you can go. And they left the last boat. Now, when the last boat was leaving, Jesus didn't rush down. He said, oh, oh, I need to move. And he, no, the last boat left. And he was still praying and fellowshipping with the Lord. And when the Lord was done with him, the Lord said, now you can go. How do I go? The last boat is gone. The Lord says, come on now. You were with me, right? Yeah. Okay, move. The Bible said, those that wait upon the Lord. I come, I agada, I agada. <laughs> Those that wait upon the Lord, they will renew their strength. Now, because while they were waiting, others were moving. So he says they will mount up with wings like the eagles. They will run. Now, now that's, that's why God is telling you at this time, wait, relax. Don't speak anyhow. Don't abuse the government. Nah, 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 nah. See, mind your words. 
allow the judge. Lest when he's judging, now that's the thing about God. When he comes to judge, he doesn't take sides. So if you join to be cursing and abusing, and to abuse your government is a sin against God. You must learn that. Now you can't be calling God to come judge and then you are committing a sin against him. If he comes to judge, you too will be included in the judgment. See that now? That's why he says, shh, keep quiet. He's hearing everybody. He's seeing everything. But this is what is going to happen at the end of the day. Thus saith the Lord, the Lord our God shall cut them off. I want to pray for you. Father, I pray that you strengthen the heart of everyone who's watching me right now. This month, receive comfort in your heart. Everything that will cost you comfort, wherever you are in your life, I pray, receive comfort right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, every way you have been hurt, receive comfort comfort from the Lord now. In Jesus' mighty name. I pray the hand of the Lord will rest upon you throughout this month. He will watch over you. He will bring his word to pass in your life. You shall be a testimony this month. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. God bless you. Like I told you earlier, join the next prayer meeting. The Zoom link is on your screen. The next meeting is at the next prayer watch. So just join and, and just get blessed. Praise God. Be anxious for nothing. Relax and allow God to take control. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow.